Um, I'm going to be reading from a paper. Um, here it is. It's in a journal called Hormones and Behavior, um, volume 55, 2009, page two, 621 to 632. It's a review um, by a very famous researcher, Milton Diamond. Um, it's called Clinical Implications of the Organizational and Activational Effects of Hormones. Very, very catchy title. I think you'll agree. Um, so I'm just going to go through. I, this is probably the closest to the actual research on the biological basis of sex and gender that most of you will ever have come. This close as I came when I read this. So strap in and... Um, I'll just start. Um, so he goes through, basically, he's arguing for something called organizational activational theory, um, which is that in the fetus, early androgens, testosterone, uh, organize gender behavior. You know, so it's not really manifest much, but it's organized, and then later in puberty, so... Um, it's the masculinization. So, you know, again, uh, our, our fetus is like a prototype. It's like the prototype design pattern if you're a computer programmer. Um, you have these female, you know, we have this female origin, a, fem a female origin in the embryo, and androgens come in and change it. You know, that, that's established. That's not a theory. Um, but, so he's, arguing against something that he's calling a neutrality at birth, that for, for a long time um, people thought that it was all socially constructed gender. So one of the, the famous things came from a guy, Money, who I guess has been vilified. We're not supposed to like him. He sounds like kind of a dick to me. Um, he had published something about the John Joan case which is there were two twins, two boys, one of them, or maybe there weren't two, but anyway, this boy got his penis cut off in a surgical accident when he was very little. Um, I think circumcision, just another don't circumcise your kids. This may happen to them. Um, so he had his penis cut off, so they made the decision to um, castrate him, actually, to, to remove his gonads. Um, raised him as a girl and um, administer um, estrogen at puberty. And then they never told him anything about it. So money, for a long time, had been holding up this case as C. Um, David, that's the name. David is a model girl. Everything's going great. And that was held up in all the press. And said, oh, see, they're right. It is totally socially constructed. And then it broke in 97, and I'll, I'll read this. This is actually from Diamond. So, you know, we know which side of the debate he's on, but, you know, he's, he's pretty clear about his biases, I think, and, and they don't come into the paper. Some major indications, so I'm, I'm quoting, some major indications of David's male gender manifestation were his, so, so it turned out that he really wanted to be male, where his compulsion, despite the absence of a penis, to stand while urina urinating, I find that absolutely fascinating, that, that uh, behavior, such a micro behavior at that detail could be biologically determined, you know, that, <laughs> that we have some brain structure for standing while urinating. And actually also remembers me, I, you know, I did not stand, I sat on the toilet seat for my whole life until I was, you know, 35 or something, or 30 at some point, I decided I wouldn't be more manly. But, you know, I always, I always sat while, you, while urinating. <laughs> I never really told anybody about this. Um, another was, is his, you know, back to the quote, his preference to play soldier, his refusal to wear a dress, and he was saving his money to buy a truck or a toy machine gun. Yeah, and this boy had never been told anything about, you know, 
about his history, about how he 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 became a girl, you know, um, or his girl. You know, I'm I'm not really sure what's appropriate to to call David. Um, and, and yeah, and then in the end, at the age of fourteen, David, unknowing of his history, brought things to a head when he threatened suicide unless he could live as a boy and develop as a man. Only then was he finally told of how he came to be raised a girl. Yeah, this is pretty damning. It's pretty interesting because it was the case that had been held up by money to show how it was all socially constructed, and you know, instead, you know, strong biological determination here. Um, and this, is, you know, and this isn't just an anecdotal case. There's lots and lots of these kind of stories. So, you know, but you know, part of it that's just interesting is how behavior at such a detailed level could be biologically based. And, you know, the whole thing with dresses, you know, I don't really get that because that changes through time, what's male and female. So I don't know if it's, you know, looking at your cohort, who you feel that you belong with. You know, but you know who your friends are. I, I'm not really sure, but yeah, you know, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Okay, um, I'll get another one. So now you know I'm gonna sign off. Make these short. Um, be back with you in a few moments. <laughs>